Risky blow my ass. Gonna grumble, grumble. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there they are. Swallow eyes. I got four swallow eyes. Man, that's that's nice. Okay, so. I'm gonna give those to. I don't know who I want to give those to. Could give them to Nina. It's uh, pretty spectacular stat gains all by himself, but it still is nice to have. Let's see. The extra stat gains. I mean, from the masters, because he really doesn't need wisdom and all that. It's just. Oh, screw you. It's just that, you know, when you have. Uh, a master that lowers wisdom, it usually also lowers AP, and that's annoying, is what that is. Hey, free wisdom seeds. That's always nice. Especially since I, you know, lost my source. Aww. Wrong way. <coughs> Excuse me. Dynamite. Screw you. Oh, but we're getting close. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if the writer appears in the rest of the ruins, but he does appear in this room for show. Uh, so I'm gonna get in and get out. That ruin right there says something along. This is where Fulu was summoned. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Bam! Completely protects you against status effects. Yeah. That might come in handy at some point. Although for Ryu, I prefer the Shaman's Ring. I can take these guys out. <clears throat> Pretty easy. I might put Ryu on Khan. Mm, just not sure. Because I have quite a bit of AP. I've been pretty careful with my AP growths, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to put him on the Khan. Because I don't really care about the wisdom growths. I mean, they can be handy. Uh, for the level 3 dragon magic combos, but, eh. You're better off using a breath attack almost the, all the time. Well, of course, unless you're at under, like, three-fourths of your health. 
which point you're better off, you know, using Shadow Walk or something. Something else. Damn it, Ryu. <laughs> Those things are worth good experience, man. I bet they're just annoying to fight. Because there's really no hit all, you know physical attacks other than Urshan's guns and at this point in the game unless you just happen to have the fish laying around to buy a culvert uh, a culvert you're you're not going to uh, have a non-elemental hit all attack ah uh, nope dot jpeg Thankfully you don't have to, if you do want to go get a chopping plate or farm for a mass driver, thankfully you don't have to go too far into Mukto to get back. I mean the exit's like right there. And it, put, it plops you right down into the room where the uh, Chopams or however you want to pronounce it, wherever they are called. And we're going to get Kwanzo over here. to Kwanzo. I think you can get to uh Kwanzo from the back. Yes, you can. But you still can't get in. Okay. Alright. That's fine. I'm trying to remember how to get to that mountain. I have it written down somewhere, but you know, me. Eh probably this. It's probably this way. Imagine this. Let's check this place out. We got here bolt troops. Mages. Alright. Last and a nice typhoon should sort these guys out. Unless everyone gets silenced. Terrible. Okay, good. Wisdom start to start climb, isn't it? Just climb on up. So if I remember correctly, there's a side path here. Yeah, 
take that off. Put that this on. I don't even worry about you being silenced. And just kill them dead. Hey, free Molotov. That's totally awesome. No, I mean, for real, it is. It's totally awesome. Free taser. Yay. Another item I will never use. 1500 zinni. Uh, you know what? No. Somebody was actually asking me about alternate ways to build the characters, and uh, basically, I would really only oh, very early. I would really only build certain characters certain ways. Uh, I don't think there's alternate ways to build them as such. Ursula is definitely someone you got a little leeway with. Uh, you could either build her magic focused or me uh, melee focused because she's got access to the two hit weaponry, the hit all weaponry, and fairly powerful spells. So, I mean, you could choose to focus on one or the other. And interestingly enough, still get use out of the other camp. Uh, Ursula is a really good character, really well balanced. Uh, Sias, you want to pump his power in as much as possible and if you can throw in some AP uh, the reason being that way he can use Shining Blade more often uh, I Urshan's a little more complicated uh, the reason being that uh, if you're going for game completion I know I keep saying that she late game turns into a mage and she does and she's just now starting that metamorphosis but uh, she doesn't co really complete it until you're too you'll have beaten the game basically uh, before you really get to see some awesome use out of that. Or stat growths and things like that. So, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could build her as a fighter. Uh, I still like building her as a backup magic caster, just mainly because she's got really high defense for the first 60% of the game. And then, of course, you know, you can use her to bridge combos and things like that. And, you know, she's pretty good at that. You 
you stick her at the front of a like the front of a formation and uh, since she's a little slower it forces uh, the other two members of the magic combo to kind of go after her let's see Cray, since he has crappy spell selection, uh, I, the only way I can think of really build him is pure power anyway. 